Now imagine you feel nothing. Imagine that instead of feeling the beating of your heart or the air fill your lungs, you have to be hooked up to a machine 24 hours a day that does it for you. Well, what if I told you we had not only the means, but we are also developing the technology to solve both of these problems in tandem? Akil, I had a good job. You've done your part, so how is it to be the first contestant for the Fame 2016 final? Oh, it's very exhilarating, but now it's over, it's much more relaxing. Now, I greatly admire the life's work of the esteemed astrophysicists sitting here on this panel today. Global warming is this ticking time bomb. Just explain it a bit. Share it with us. I feel really exhilarating. Not every day you get to be a blind person and not, I'm just kidding. It's not every day you get to be a normal working guy and have this stage. And it's impressive because in the end of the day, it's not just about a competition. I think it's about the audience who is here, who are school kids and who are parents. And if you get to share a little bit of science to them, it feels very rewarding just as it is. How flashes of your school, signboards, junctions, those are the things that flashes in your brain. The human GPS is built at the centre of the brain, which is called the hippocampus. For months and months and months I thought, why was the sea cooler than the sun? It's very, very hot <laughs> out there. So, how, what do you think the role of water is in keeping us, you, you talked a little bit about it, but yeah. in keeping us cool? Well, uh, because it's very, very hot out there, and like I said, water needs a very high energy for it to convert to gas. So if you put water in a room, let's say, and then because there is heat energy, so the water will evaporate into a gas and moist the air of the room and make it, like, reduce the temperature a bit. And with that, I introduce to you beta carboline. Now, beta carboline is a type of compound that is naturally found in the types of plant, food, marine animals, and even our biological fluids and tissues. In the laboratory, beta carboline compounds have been structurally modified to target leukemia cells, and these cells have been proven to be killed at the most impressive rate. Um, uh, how is beta carboline different from existing treatments or, or there's no cure? But uh, existing treatments for leukemia. Okay, um, first thing first, we thought it's unique because it's something that's around us. Something that's always in, it's in our body system, it's in plants, it's in the cuticle of scorpions, it's everywhere. However, what's different about it's not simply that we have it around us, it's also the fact that we have studied extensively. We modify the structure to fit into leukemia. Ladies and gentlemen, how many of you in this room have a special someone? Can I have a show of hands, please? Okay, I'm um, sorry, I can't really see, but I can gather that that's about a relationship with bacteria. Yeah, you've been together for a long time, and I know, it hasn't always been easy. Turns out, your cell might hold the secret to the aging process. Now follow me on a journey to discover the what, why and how of telomeres and see if you are ready for the next elixir of life. Congratulations to be in the final. Thank okay, you. I, I saw you kind of doing all the practice. So yes. I feel the excitement to yes. be so are you nervous. It just share with us. Um, of course, to say that I'm not nervous, it's actually not true. Okay. Uh, I nervous, but I try to actually counter my nervous okay. yeah, by meditation. I'm standing there, but I'm meditating. Now, I reveal the demons within them. I vibrate at their natural frequency. And they begin to move and move and shiver and collapse. 
uh, what different does it take uh, for you guys for you to be here this time around? Sure, I think the experience definitely helps. Okay. You know, uh, but I, but having said that, you know, I'm still extremely nervous. I know in about a few minutes I'm actually going to be up there. Um, you know, every different you know time that I actually go up on stage, you know, there's a sense of adrenaline and there's a sense of excitement, and you really want because we're really passionate about conveying our message of science. And, and so, you know, I just hope that I'll be able to translate what I want to say, and it will be appreciated by the audience. Yes, the scary viruses. But what we are able to do is that we are able to design and engineer viruses that are safe and equipped with the same superpowers that can match and kill cancer. This entire auditorium into a nice, beautiful forest. This is your finalist, ladies and gentlemen, and a round of applause to all of the 10 finalists of FameLab. And I would like to remind everybody again, if you are interested in one of them to be your audience choice winner, please do send your votes, send your SMS now because we will close the voting in another five minutes. Because I'm, I'm the safe option. <laughs> Claire Walker. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you, man. Thank you, Mr. Kamarul Second runner out. This person presented the topic that relates mostly with lobster. Your second runner out winner, Dr. Jasmine Seo Moon Hu. The first run out. This person presented something related a personal experience with leukemia. Your second place winner, none other than Nur Azalia Kamarazaman! Now, the moment that we've been waiting for. The winner, the best science communicator of them all with that big trophy. The same design as last year, but it's still looking beautiful. <laughs> I would like you to join me in doing this drum roll. Can you guys join me? Drum roll, drum roll, guys, drum roll. The best science communicator goes to Dr. Abi Mirakumarasimha. Okay, it's agreed. One person is dying from this disease. Um, and so, a lot of the efforts are done. I told you, I told you, right? I have a good Dr. Abi, congratulations. Thank you so much. The 2016 <laughs> yeah. Lab for Malaysia. It still hasn't set in. I mean, you know, this guy's back here. Just amazing. And, you know, I'm just lucky. Uh, definitely, luck comes with hard work as well. That's true. So I'm sure because uh, the way I look at you, the way you answer the, the jury question yeah. just now, I thought it was prolific. You answered them correctly. You questioned them back, yeah. asking them what about their, their participation as well to communicate science to the world. Yeah. So I guess, so what are you going to do with the fault I even mount? Well, I need to ask my wife. <laughs> <laughs> she probably already has plans. Uh, well, first of all, I need okay. to take all of them out for lunch with this. All right, um, okay. You know, some money. And, um, you know, because I think what's very exciting about Game Lab, it's not just a competition. Yes, uh, we are actually really creating, you know, this buzz about science communication and collecting as many people who are as equally passionate to actually work together. So one of the things that we're definitely going to do is this year, now that we have two batches of Game Lab finalists, we're going to create a YouTube channel and we're going to continue communicating science because, I'll you know, forward. this is just a real, you know, tip of the iceberg. Yes, definitely. There's so much of things to do. Definitely. Yeah. So, okay, uh, just since you have been there, done that, Last year you didn't manage to win right. the, the, yeah. as a national winner, for example. But what is your message to the people out there, yeah. to the fellow science community out there, who maybe have something to say, but 
probably they will shy away, they will kind of not sure of whatever they want to do sure. at the moment. So maybe just share your tips. Yeah, so I think, you know, from the experience of last year, um, although you know, I was disappointed, but, um, you know, it wasn't a disappointment that, you know, I, I lost, but it was more that I realized that I didn't take the risks. I didn't take, you know, that extra effort to, to, to try my best. And so this time around, I said, this is the last time I'm going to try. Um, and so I'm just going to put it all out there. I'm just going to share my passion and what I really love. And I just hope that the judges will like it. Uh, more importantly, I think I also took the competition out of it. Um, I didn't treat it as a competition. I just tried it. You know, treat, treated it as one opportunity to share what I love and what I do in research and, and how can I actually engage as many people in the room. That's, that's really what I did. Take away the competition and you know I, the Dallas Campbell who was the master class um, um, sort of lecturer, uh, trainer, uh, trainer, trainer um, you know he just said something called Honin Mio which is just live in the moment, try your best and, 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 and just, just work towards it. All right, thank you, Dr. Abi. So, to all the people out there, be like Abi, communicate science. All right, thank you, Abi. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Yeah.